Hey YouTube, back for another round of reviews for aftershaves and colognes that are under the $25 mark. And so we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do four reviews uh, right here. Try to do them real quick. These four have been on the market for a very long time. Uh, in fact, the first one up is Aqua Velva. It was uh, introduced as a mouthwash actually back in 1929, I think. Something like that. So Aqua Velva, uh, you can see it's it's a classic blue, um, classic design on the bottle as well. This one I got for like four and a half dollars or whatever. Uh, a high alcohol content in this one. So when you do use this uh, after you shave, be prepared. Uh, it will sting. Uh, but it really does do a good job of tightening and closing those pores for you after you shave, which is what an aftershave is supposed to do. Uh, it really does feel good on the skin. It feels like it really tightens up the skin for people, guys like me, who kind of need a tightening up of the skin. Uh, th this is a really, a, a really nice aftershave. Uh, and for, you know, four and a half, five bucks, really. Uh, good everyday type of thing. The scent on it is really nice. It's uh, not quite so citrusy, but it does, it just, you know, you know, describing colognes and aftershaves is kind of difficult sometimes. Uh, this one, it, it really does kind of smell cool. I don't know, that's kind of weird to put, weird way to put it, but it does, it does smell nice and cool. Uh, it got a little bit of spice to it. My uh, youngest son, who is uh, beginning to shave, has really taken to this. He really likes this. Uh, and has actually gotten a few compliments at school from this. So, good one, four and a half, five bucks. Uh, good one to have, great for a weekend, going out if you're gonna uh, just chill, whatever. So the second one is a all-time classic, Brute. Yes, Brute. Uh, this was like seven bucks, I think, at the grocery store. Uh, this one is uh, real citrusy with uh, a real spicy woodsy scent to it. Of course, it's been around so long, it's very popular, you already know this, you probably already have it in your uh, vanity. But I will say this, take a good look at the bottle, just Brute. This is actually Brute 33. Now, when Brute first came out, um, it was just called Brute. And it was a uh, heavy cologne. It was very popular. To expand their market, what they did was that they created a new uh, cologne aftershave called Brute 33. And what that was was that it contained 33% of the original fragrance in it. So you had Brute, which is the full strength, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. And then Brute 33, which is kind of the budget conscious cologne and aftershave. Well, through numerous changes of hands in corporations and divisions and departments and whatnot, what's happened is that they have dropped the Brute 33 nomenclature and just branded it as Brute. So this, what you see on the grocery store and the department stores, if I've done my research right, this is actually just Brute 33, the budget conscious one. If you want the original full strength Brute, you need to look for the Brute bottle that looks like this, but it's got the little silver medallion sitting right about right here. Okay, and it'll say something like uh, classic Fabergé uh, cologne or scent. Uh, but if you want the full strength, you need to, it'll, it'll look just like this, but it'll have that silver medallion that I think it's uh, hung around with a little silver chain, so to speak. I mean, it's all attached. But uh, it's a good one. It's really nice. Uh, you're going out with your buds, go to the bar, go, uh, go just out to the movies. Uh, it says it's recommended for evening. I can see that. Uh, Age-wise, anybody can wear it, I think. Uh, it's not going to be uh, too adult for the, the younger fellas. But it's, it's good enough for uh, guys of my generation, and, and it was good enough. Uh, for generations uh, before me. So it's a good one. 
check it out. If you haven't, go ahead and give it, give it a shot. Seven and a half dollars, you're not hurting anything. So the next one is probably the all-time classic. You already know what's coming. Uh, I love one of their slogans is that if your grandfather hadn't worn it, you probably wouldn't be here. Which is true, because my grandfather wore this all the time. And it is Old Spice. You saw this one coming, didn't you? Yes, you did. I know you did. Old Spice. Been around forever and a day. It actually started by the Schultz Company in 1928. Yeah, 28. As a woman's product. The old men, uh, the old men, the Old Spice men's uh, cologne didn't come out until a year later, 1929. So, anyway, this one is a real nice one. It's classic, it's very exotic, and it's got really bright citrusy sense to it. Uh, a lot of spice, a lot of floral to it. it it's it really is kind of an exotic uh, smell to it. It really it. I like wearing this one in the summer actually, um, because it just it just gives me that Caribbean island type of scent with all the sea breeze and the and the florals and and uh, the just the the bright citrus smells in it. It, and it is a classic. It is a good one. Um, been around for so many years uh, for a reason, because it's good. So try it. If you haven't tried it, if you think, oh, my grandpa wore it, I don't want to smell like my grandpa, again, you wouldn't be here if your grandpa hadn't worn it. So give it a shot. Try it. See what you think. This one, Old Spice, still popular, very popular. Uh, a little more expensive, probably in the $12 to $14 range but still well under the $25 budget uh, that we're trying to stay under for uh, aftershaves and cologne. So give it a shot, L tell me what you think. And of course for any of these, uh, tell me what you think, what your experiences are uh, and what they have been. With this in the comments below. I'd love, to, I'd love to read what you have to say on that. So, and the last one is one that is by Menon. Uh, if you remember that one, if you're old enough like me, sorry about the camera shaking. It's Skin Bracer. Skin Bracer. Uh, again, not too much about this one. This one, uh, it doesn't doesn't uh, sting as much, and uh, it's just it's this one's kind of a hard one to peg, uh, scent wise. It's it's got hints of the brute, which would be the spicy woods, I would say. It's got hints of the aqua velva, the that cool. Um, scent. This this is a good one. Um, it fades real quick. It's real light. I will say that. It's real light. Um, so don't be bashful with this one. Don't be bashful with this one. So anyway, that is it. So in recap, we've got Aqua Velva. Very cool. Fresh. Uh, it will sting when you put it on after you shave, but it does do a very nice job tightening and closing your pores and making, making you feel nice and fresh in and cool. So this, this is a good one. Um, it lasts fairly decently. Uh, it, for me, it lasts a good four or five hours. So it, it's a good one uh, to have. Brute, always a good one. Brute's a good one to throw on uh, in the mornings. Uh, doesn't sting all that much when you put it on after you shave. It's a good one to have. Uh, if you use it, throw it in your car, throw it in your desk drawer uh, at work uh, before you go out for the evening. Put a tiny little dab more on and you're good to go. Uh, Old Spice, another classic one, another good one. Uh, this one does last all day, I will say this. I didn't mention that when I first uh, did this, uh, brought this one up first, but it will last. So be careful with this at first until you, you get the right amount, you know, when you first put it on in the mornings. And then the last, of course, Skin Bracer. Uh, it's a good one, it's kind of a, Kind of a distant second uh, compared to these three, so uh, but it, again, it's a decent one, uh, no frills, um, very light scent. So give it a shot. Again, all of these, uh, in fact, the Aqua Velva, the Brute, and this, under eight bucks uh, each one. Uh, some these two under five dollars, uh, and then the Old Spice, of course, under fifteen. So. That's about it. So tell me what you think, what you uh, like about them. If you don't like them, uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Take care. Until next time.